league, but they have an outside chance to still win the regular season conference title. That's saying a lot in a league that has number 18 Chattanooga currently heading the way. Now on the other side for Samford, big game for them as far as bracketing goes for the upcoming SOCON tournament. Well, a win today allows them to control their destiny in a matchup next week against Mercer. But they've got to take care of business. If they can beat ETSU, go down, take care of business with Mercer, they could end up as high as third in terms of the SOCON tournament bracketing. And that's important because third puts you on the other side of the bracket from Chattanooga, East Tennessee at this point could do no worse than second place as we noted. Now, Sanford's most dangerous player is the tallest player on their roster, Taylor Reese. Well, Taylor Reese presents a matchup. Reese looking to back in on Mitchell. That's 6-3 on 5-10 and the turnaround jumper is up and in. Well, Taylor Reese shoot over the top of the smaller Mitchell. Tartar creates her own shot and knocks it down over top of Stevens. Elliott got it from Myers, gave it back to her in the corner. Strickland knocks down her second straight three. She's feeling it in the early going. Strickland up top, long one on the way for Nichols, and she knocks that one down. She comes off a 15-point game against Chattanooga. Shoots 40% from long range. You've got some really impressive three-point shooting numbers on this Sanford team. And now, after we've seen Reese and Strickland get hot from outside, Nichols joins in the fun. Nice turnarounds this season. We've noted just a nine-win campaign a year ago for ETSU. Sanford won just 10 games. Ooh, Elliott was trying, but Clark would have none of it. She gets her 43rd block of the year, and Sanford will keep. Uh, you've got to get, have a quicker release if you're playing against Clark. She's going to get out there, and she has such a long wingspan. That she doesn't have to be very close in order to get that block. Clark, her third year in the ETSU program. She played her freshman year at Clemson in the ACC. Nichols with the drive, up and in it goes as Christopher hit the deck, but probably a good no call right there. Five of the shot clock, McGee working inside over Christopher. Can't get the roll, rebound tapped out. Strickland working in there on Bridges and recycling the shot clock, and McGee finishes inside. And McGee just sneaking down in behind on that tap out. Outscored. Sanford 4-2 coming out of that timeout. Stevens left wing Nichols open three and she knew it when she released it. And once again, a timeout on the court. I believe Brittany Zell called that.